Hey everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to talk about the reactions that my friends, family, my husband had when I told them that I was getting deployed. It wasn't like... Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Um, the sun's about to set, so we're going to make this quick, as quick as I can. So, my friends were basically in shock. They're all like, oh my god, aren't you almost done? Yeah, I'm, I'm almost done, but hey, they got me at that last bit. But they were all pretty like supportive about it. There weren't like anything negative, like, oh, well, you should have expected it. Nothing like that. I didn't tell all my friends, just my close ones, the ones that I see every day, and you know, like my best friends. I didn't announce it on Facebook or any kind of social media. So if you didn't keep in touch, you didn't like if you don't even keep in touch with me why would I tell you so my friend Ashley and Summer and Summer's little girl Bo she's like two years old and super cute and smart um, we were exchanging Christmas gifts at my house and during that Summer goes oh I'm gonna plan Bo's birthday party in spring I can't wait you guys are gonna help me and this and that and then I look at Ashley and I look at Summer and I'm like, um, I'm not gonna be here for that. Uh, I'm, I'm getting deployed. And she was so sad. She didn't know, but I like just found out earlier that week actually, and I wasn't sure how to bring it up yet. I wanted to not do it during work. I wanted to, you know, like say it while we were all together for something. And I guess that was the moment. <laughs> And she was like, oh, when you were gone at Fort Pickett, I was like telling my dad, I really hope she doesn't get deployed or anything like that. And well, yeah, I'm getting deployed. But it's all good. Like they've all been supportive throughout the whole thing. And Ashley's been sending me goodies throughout my deployment, which I really, really appreciate because like a good friend who knows you makes the care package cater to you it's different getting a care package from a friend versus you know like all these companies that can send care packages um, it's catered to you so everything is like hot sauce related and just things that I like like she knows that I would like I really really appreciate it Ashley thank you very much then I told some of my friends from North Carolina the ones that I grew up with like some of my best friends you know like I haven't kept in touch with them like that much that year but I started calling them I I talk to my best friends like once in a while it's not an everyday thing but when we pick up it's like we never didn't talk for a while and I feel like that's a really good strong relationship like you can catch up at any time and it doesn't feel weird I think the funniest reactions were from my mother-in-law and my mom my mother-in-law was like, What? I can't believe you're getting deployed. Why are you getting deployed? Women shouldn't have to deploy. Why do they have to go out there? Why are women out there? Why? <laughs> I just thought it was funny because I'm like, why not? Equal rights? When I joined the army, I did realize that women get deployed. That's not news to really anybody so I thought I just thought it was funny and my mom my mom was like um can you just quit yeah let me just uh, forget about this contract I signed that's not how it works in the military and I don't think she knows that I reworded it for my mom a little bit uh, I didn't use the word deployment because I don't think she would have understood it anyway I just said hey I'm gonna go work in another country for like a year um, it's going to be with the army and that really was that. And then my mom was like, okay, so are you gonna come visit me after you come back to America? And then we got in a fight and then it was done. Mothers. <laughs> and then of course my husband's reaction, he like assumed the worst even before I got my orders. I guess he was preparing himself for it. And then once I got my orders, he was just like, okay. He was really sad. We like just came back from a honeymoon and we were like really happy and on really good terms, you know, and for literally like two seconds. And then like, it's this like big bombshell, this sad news that I'm gonna be leaving for like a year. He said that he felt really sick all the time. Like he didn't wanna deal with it. He became really distanced. 
like up until the minute that I left like he was distant and quiet and just so weird about it and it was really frustrating to deal with because for me I was like okay I hardly I don't have much time with you and you're wasting it like I we need to do things together and prepare for this and you know like just get things situated and he was just like all right <sighs> he wasn't really feeling it having it I know he's sad but for me like I'm sad too but I have to still, you know, like carry on with life and prepare things so when I leave everything is in good shape. For me, it was just stressful. Like in the beginning, I got a little scared because I was like, um, I don't know how, how I'm going to deal with this. But then I was like, there's nothing to be scared of. I think I was just thinking about it too much. It wasn't going to be that bad. And I mean, a deployment is still a deployment, but like I wasn't nervous about it later. I was more nervous leaving my home leaving my dogs and my husband there's so many horror stories that i hear about the military where like your spouses cheat on you it's it could either be the soldier cheating on their spouse back home or the spouse cheating on the soldier while they're deployed you know like horrible stories and just divorces and all this other thing like the divorce rate is very very high for soldiers i was thinking about that i don't know i was just like how do you leave a person for so long like People have needs. What if something changes? It's just unnecessary worries. Like I was worried about things that I didn't need to worry about. It was more things that happened to other people. It doesn't mean it would happen to you or me. It's just things that have happened to people. And I was worried about things that could be or the what ifs, but none of that happened to me, thankfully. <laughs> or not that I know of. I think I was just stressing myself out for no reason at all. And my employer. I forgot to mention my employer's reactions. They were just like, okay, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. They're like really, really Southern. <laughs> and I mean, they were okay with it, but they were not okay with it at the same time. They hired somebody to take my place. It was about like a month later or so, but they really wanted me to like train the other girl. They weren't very, uh, they were okay, you know? Like, okay, you have to get deployed, got it. Like, they can't say anything legally, you know? But I know that they were pissed off because every time I had to go to a drill or go do something like training-wise for this deployment, they were just like, okay, all right. Like, and that's rude to me. That's pretty rude to me. Like, I'm going there for a year like I'm not choosing to go there but damn like really it made me feel really bad about me leaving work for a greater cause a much greater cause like my work is not that important compared to the bigger picture of what was happening on the army side of things you know versus my civilian job but anyway so that's it for this video thank you for watching I will have clips of more like on the action things that I took like some vlogging clips next time if you have any questions just let me know right down below and I'll talk to you guys later bye what keeps fighting me I got a haircut and the lady like fucked up my hair she really fucked up my hair god there's so many fucking mosquitoes <laughs>